Today we're going to be turning the embroidery onto its final display board. We've made that board largely out of this material. It's an acid-free honeycomb card. So acid-free means that it won't give off any harmful acid into the object itself, which is very important. And it's got this honeycomb core which makes it very strong but light, an ideal material for lifting it through the gallery or whenever we need to move the object. And to strengthen the edges of our board, because it's quite sizable, we've inserted these wooden battens around the edge and covered these with foil to make sure, again, that it won't be giving off any acid that could be potentially harmful to the object. We've covered our board with some material that's slightly padded and we've dyed a covering cotton fabric. So before we turn the embroidery, we're going to plan it all out very carefully because it is a very large and fragile object. So we need to make sure that we've got all the stages planned out first before we get going. We're going to have a group of people to hold all of the corners and make sure it's fully supported whilst we turn it. So I've been lucky in having the, the help of most of the conservation department, all hands on deck to turn the board. So the first thing we're going to do is place that display board face down on top of the back of the embroidery and really position it in place so we have these threads as guidelines to make sure that that board is in exactly the right position because once we've turned it over we, we can't move the embroidery again so that's a really key stage. And then we will clamp it around the edge to make sure it's really secure, that the embroidery can't move around inside our sandwich between the two turning boards. We'll also have card between our boards and the clamps to make sure they're not damaging the boards at all. As we turn it, we're going to make sure we do that as safely but fairly quickly as well to minimise the amount of time the embroidery is on its side. So once we've safely removed the clamps, we'll then lift off our turning board to reveal the embroidery underneath in its final position on its display board. So it'll be great to see what it looks like then. Well, it's an amazing relief to have the embroidery safely back with the front side facing us on its new display board. I'm quite happy with the colour we've chosen for the backing. It's really a compromise between being sympathetic with the object and not being misleading, so I don't think it looks as though it's part of the embroidery, which is exactly what we were aiming for. It may look finished, but we have to remember that this is loose on the display board, so our work has only just begun really in terms of the stitch support. So our next action is to dye some net to use as a protective layer over the surface of the embroidery and then stitch that in place. And by using the net, we can avoid using so many stitches and stitching into the object quite as much as they did back in the early 20th century. Mm -hmm. 